Hello and welcome to Xylene Railog Tutorial 13. Today I am going to design the fuel block using different gates. So this is the programming for that the fuel block using different gates in which there are this D data and clock is input and Q and Q bar is output. Q bar is actually inverted inver inversion of Q. Now here input is defined as data and clock and output is defined as clock and uh, Q bar. Now here different variables, input variables are defined as N1, N2, N3, Q bar and, and wires C1, Cn, N4, N5 and N6. Now uh, these are the different gate level implementation where the gate level implementation these are different gate level implementation in which there are these are the input of particular gate and n2 is the output of particular gate so this is the program now we have to synthesize this So synthesization is complete. Uh, now I have to check this program in test man, the simulation and then simulate behavioral model. And this we have to give clock to so this module 1 0 and now for 25 megahertz clock we have to give 40 nanosecond. Let's uh, have the our data at 75 nanosecond. Seventy-five nanosecond. Now this is the output. Now this is negative trigger DPS stop. So when it will give the output at the negative edge of the clock. Means when the data is one and there is negative negative edge of a clock at that time, Q will follow D. So that here, when the data is high at that time, negative trigger or negative pulse of the negative edge of the clock at that time, Q is one. Now, when the data is equal to zero, and at that time when the clock is negative, uh, falling at the time data is equal to zero. So, Q is following the data at the negative edge of the clock so that's why this is known as negative trigger clock negative trigger clock deep reform thank you